right, well, welcome to the World Series edition of uh, Boiler Training Camp, Stationary Engineer Training Camp. Um, this is Chapter 13, and we're going to just run through licensing. Uh, licensing examinations are a part of the process of licensing uh, boiler operators and stationary engineers. The purpose of the licensing examination is to ensure that the individual is qualified to operate and maintain steam boilers and related equipment. Licensing laws vary from state to state. Some cases a municipality may have uh, specific laws. Insurance companies may also have licensing requirements. An individual preparing to take a licensing examination should be aware of all requirements set by the agency. Um, licensing agencies may have specific licensing requirements uh, such as age, experience, expected knowledge of equipment operation. Um, these requirements may also include registration fees and certain types of identification. Practicing with sample examination questions will help prepare for taking a licensing examination. The score was 6-2. Uh, licensing. To pass a licensing examination, boiler operation, knowledge and skills must be acquired. Once basic skills are mastered, higher levels of skills are necessary. In addition, new boiler operation equipment is continually being developed. New skills are needed um, to remain current with the advancing technology and to grow in the boiler operation profession. The ability to adapt as the industry changes is crucial for continued success. Boiler operators often upgrade their skills in the profession with time and experience. They use tasks they perform on a daily basis to refine their knowledge and skills, and in some instances, boiler operators may start in maintenance positions and move into boiler operator positions after successfully passing licensing examinations. Other become boiler operators through continuing education or through an apprenticeship program. I was not um, in a apprenticeship program. I was not in continuing education. I started out as uh, an engineer in a maintenance position and then acquired my boiler operators certification. The International Union of Operating Engineers, the IUOE, offers apprenticeship programs for boiler operators. Um, the IUOE represents stationary engineers who work in operations and maintenance in building and industrial complexes. They also represent operating engineers who work as heavy equipment operators, mechanics, and surveyors in the construction industry. Their boiler operation apprentice program is a program that combines work experience and training. Uh, apprenticeship availability is contingent on the local authorities. Um, this lists the National Association of Power Engineers is an organization of boiler operators and power engineers who primarily, whose primary interest is promoting the craft of power engineering. Um, classes in all areas of boiler operation are routinely conducted by NAP and APE. The Federal Buildings and Personal Training Act. The Federal Buildings Personal Training Act requires personal responsible uh, for the operation and maintenance, energy management, and yeah, two six. Um, safety and design functions of federally owned facilities to be properly trained. This includes workers employed by federal governments and its contractors. Um, Continue education courses shall be developed or identified to ensure operation of federal buildings in accordance with industry best practices and standards. High percentage of federally owned buildings use private contractors to maintain and manage these facilities. The results of this act should demonstrate what can be accomplished in building and maintenance, maintaining energy efficient buildings. Boiler operator information, information resources. The boiler operator as a professional must be familiar with information pertaining to boilers and related plant equipment. Some information including magazines, journals, operator manuals, technical bulletins, government documents, 
blah, blah, blah. Um, provide valuable information on current topics and trends. Industry standards are periodically revised to reflect changes in the field. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, publishes the ASME code. That will be on the test. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME. Um, the sections of primary interest to high pressure boiler operators are section one rules for construction of power boilers, rules for construction of heating boilers, recommended rules for the care and operation of heating boilers, and recommended guidelines for the care of power boilers. In addition, ASME publishes controls and safety devices for automatically fired boilers. Um, more boiler, more boring boiler information. Um, boiler operation is an occupation requiring properly trained operators. Licensing, boiler operator licensing require, requirements vary. Not every state has licensing requirements, mine does. Uh, efforts to standardize licensing requirements nationally are being promoted by the American Society of Power Engineers. Licensing jurisdiction. A licensing jurisdiction will often have specific grades of licensing examinations for different sizes of boilers and related equipment. License classification varies with licensing agency. For example, in New Jersey, the license would range in order from the black seal license, low pressure boiler operator, to the gold seal license, first grade engineer. To advance a prerequisite licensing examination for each type or level of license must be uh, passed. American Society of Power Engineers is an independent third-party licensing agency who, I'm sorry, ASOP, A-S-O-P, the American Society of Power Engineers um, is an independent third-party licensing agency whose objective is to establish national standards and a formal structured level of competence for national recognition of the power engineer. Uniform Licensing, NIULPE, the National Institute for the Uniform Licensing of Power Engineers. TIP, the National Association of Power Engineers, is a national organization with local chapters throughout the country. Chapter meetings provide an opportunity for professionals to exchange knowledge, experience, and industry news with other professionals in a particular region. This interaction can enhance skills and growth within the field, blah, blah, blah. Uh, licensing exam prep, um, that's basically what we've been doing. Licensing examination completion. Um, remain calm. <laughs> preparation necessary for the examination has been completed and now the preparation will ensue the expected results. After receiving the exam, assess the amount of time available to complete it. Uh, scan the first few questions of each section to obtain a feel for the exam. Pace your work accordingly. Read each question and allow and all answers carefully. Know what is being asked before attempting to answer. Take time to verify the proper answer um, has been filled in completely. On answer sheets to be scanned by a machine, correctly fill in the space. If calculations are required, be sure to neatly show all work. Some examinations may allow partial credit for an incorrect final answer if the proper formula and procedures are shown. If you're unsure of an answer, lightly mark the question number on the answer sheet. Um, when finished with other questions, return to the unanswered ones. Um, yeah, and use process of elimination for the ones that are obviously not um, the answer to the question that they might be asking. And that concludes chapter 13. Um, we're right at 10 minutes. Like, subscribe, share. I'm going to link my Bitcoin and Ethereum address below. A Coinbase referral gives you $10 free Bitcoin if you buy 100. Coinbase is a great place to start if you're just getting into crypto. Um, it's where I cut my teeth. Uh, and you can earn free, you can literally earn free crypto on their um, exchange without 
um, purchasing anything. You just take these small le lessons and take a small quiz and they literally pay you in um, different denominations of crypto, which you can cash out for Bitcoin, which is the household name, or in which you can cash out for um, actual USD, US dollars, fiat currency. So um, That's a whole different channel and not what we're here for. Um, I wish you all excellent luck. Have a great night. A positive and productive day tomorrow. Get a good night's rest. And uh, good luck on your exam and test. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, this is for educational and artistic purpose.